Hi everyone, I'm Cool as Ice Makeup, and I'm going to do an emerald green smoky eye tutorial. Before it gets started, I did my brows, base with concealer, and my left eye off camera. All the makeup products that I'll be using will be all drugstore affordable, so please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And follow me on social media, links will be in the description below. And that chit chat, let's get started. This is part of my holiday inspired makeup series. I decided to choose this look for the holidays, but you can do it for any time of the year, like New Year's. But I decided to do it for Christmas because it's sultry enough. And once I'm done filming this makeup tutorial, I'm going to remove the eye look with coconut oil to prevent any staining. Well, the green shades are not staining, but it might be too dark when I go outside. Onto the makeup brow powder. I took the Tarte Katie one, you know, glow. Anyway, first start for getting doing my latte. The palette I'm using is Makeup Revolution X Tammy Tropical Garble Palette. This is my go to colorful eyeshadow palette. I'm taking the green shades today. St. Catherine, definitely greens and clubs. So, today, the brushes I'm using are free from bust taupe, a crease brush, a lower lash line brush, and one big kabuki brush. For like sort of like a base, I'm taking my Beauty Runway Black Eye Pencil, and it does not have to be perfect. I saw this trick done by Spencer here on TikTok. Well, you don't have to do it, but since this is a smoky eye, you must, and don't worry. I'm going to blend it using a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm taking the best taupe flat shader brush and I'm really going to smoke the crap out of this. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can do it with any color of smoky eye you want. I believe that looks good. Now it looks like a lighter shade of black. Since I'm working with colorful eyeshadows, especially with green, I want to do the translucent powder trick. I'm using a dry sponge and the excess of my Cody Air Sponge that I use to set my face. A little trick is I put my loose powder into a cosmetic jar because the packaging alone on the Cody Airspun is just so messy in general. And I always do this trick, like I learned it off of YouTube. It is old school. For the crease, I'm taking St. Catherine, which is the bright green. The brush I'm using is the best taupe fluffy crease brush. I don't know the name of it. The paper is in my, in my room. And I dipped in once more to get the pigment to show through. If you're watching me for the first time, or you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Cool as Ice. I'm named after the 1991 Vanilla Ice movie, and I've been making making I and I've been making makeup videos for four years. I used to be an animator, but I stopped to focus on making makeup videos on YouTube. What's up, that pigment? I'm going to blend it. The color speed air will open my eyes. Blend, blend, blend. And I'm the queen of colorful eyeshadows. For the lower lash line, I'm taking Deathly, which is the jade green. I was thinking it can be more emerald, like a jewel toned. The brush I'm using is the best taupe small eyebrow brush to get in there precisely. Follow where your own lower lashes is. And I'm going to add one more layer for the sake of this video. Remember, take your hand back to get more blending. The farther you hold your brush from the ferrule, the more of a blend you get. That looks good. I'm adding all the green eyeliner to the waterline to make it stand out for a waterline. I'm taking NYX at the Gorilla Iron Stick and all time olive, but any green.
green eyeliner will do at home. I love olive green because I'm a redhead and it makes my red hair stand out. And I believe olive green is a soft autumn shade and I might as well the lower lash line eyeshadow looks okay. So far for the lid, I'm taking greens just on top of the black eyeliner base. I'm just using my ring finger here to get the most pigmentation. For the mattes, use a brush. And for the shimmers, use your fingers. That looks good. And before I forget, I'm going to sweep away the fallout using a kabuki brush that my boyfriend Nathan gave me for Christmas last year. Without disturbing the eye makeup. And I don't know if my concealer, my crease on me. For my inner corner, I'm taking Clipso, which is the lime green, to add a pop of lifeness to the eyes. I get plus mascara to this eye, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. I was a complete, I don't know if you can see the black pencil liner showing through, but I believe I can to highlight the rest of my face. I'm taking Viva Color Selfie Face Highlighter in Magnifico. It has a green reflex to it. This might show up on a full coverage concealer. And I have not hit pan on it. I love to use this highlighter for when I do a green eye look. Because it's very beautiful. I cannot live without highlighter. It is nice and not the cake for me. My go-to highlighter shade is white. There is a little bit of green glitter to it. As I turn my head to the light, you can really see that sheen. And I believe it's a rainy day in London by the time I'm filming this video. And I got this highlighter at Dollarama back in 2022. And it's my favorite for lip prep. I took Lip Smacker Sprite in a cup, which I got at Claire's last year. And I it with some toilet paper. So my lips are nice and hydrate. Chap lips are not cute. I'm going for a new gloss. Because it seems beautiful for that. I'm taking the Beauty Romway new lip gloss with, I believe, like a gold shimmer. No lip liner. And my natural lip color is peeking through. Here is the completed Emerald Green Smoky Eye Tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you have any requests, you can put them in the comments below. I did a green smoky eye tutorial back in 2021. And I might as well do a retake in the future. This is definitely for Christmas, so stay tuned for more reviews and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you! Bye!